here. We're so glad to see you today, and I hope that you're excited because we're continuing our series to the rescue. That's right. In this, we've been learning about the fact that God made us. Not only did he make us, but he made us to help other people. So if you're ready to learn more about it, let's sit up really tall and get ready to go. special little shirts for all these teddy bears. We're making them for the kids who are sick at the hospital. We can't sew, but we sure can decorate. These shirts were so fun to make. First, we wrapped our shirts in all these rubber bands. Second, we sprayed them with the dye that turns them pretty colors. Then, we waited for our shirts to dry and ta-da! And now we have the perfect shirts for all these teddy bears. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe, and Hayden, too. Dressing up some bears, are you? Yes, we are. We've been working on their shirts all day. That's a great way to help. It's true. 
I have a story about helpers just like you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Good job, Stormy. We are all ready. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Our neighbor hurt her leg, so we're all finding different ways to help her. This is the sign for help. Can you do it with me? Great job. Stormy Jane and I are bringing her lunch. <laughs> That's right, Stormy. We made a great lunch, and it's all in that basket. Oh, and Aisha is bringing her cupcakes, Justin made her a card, and Luis is taking her some flowers to cheer her up. I love that all of us have found different ways to help our neighbor. <gasps> that reminds me of a story. Do you wanna hear it? <laughs> Great, today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and followed Jesus. Tabitha was always helping people. One way she helped was by making clothes for people. Here you go. Wow, Tabitha helped a lot of people. Hooray for helping. God made Tabitha to help and she helped people by making clothes. But there are so many different ways to help. There's another story in the Bible about a young man named Timothy. Timothy didn't make clothes like Tabitha. Timothy helped by teaching others about God and showing people how to love like Jesus. God made Timothy to help, and he helped a lot of people too. Hooray for helping! Did you know God made you and me to help too? That's right, there are so many different ways that we can help. Raise your hand if you were made to help. <laughs> That's right, everyone's hand should be up because we were all made to help others. You can put your hands down now. Now let's all think of different ways we can help others. Think, think, think. We can draw a picture to cheer up our friends. We can help clean up toys, even if we didn't make the mess. We can pick up trash in the park with our family. We can give food to people who need it. There are so many different ways we can help others. God made you and me to help others. Hooray for helping! Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to help others? God made me to help others. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made us to help in different ways, too. Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, even though we're still kids, we can help others in so many ways. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Making these shirts has been so much fun. Helping is fun. Bye, friends. See you next time. We have the Lord our God, to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. 2 Chronicles 32, 8.